we're out here today working on the old 2035. We haven't had it fired up since last year, so I just put some gas in it, checked all the fluids. We should be good to go. I'll give it to my cameraman here, and he can film me starting it. Maybe. Almost. More choke or not? Pusher in the woods. You got to choke off, right? Yeah, it's off. Puff and smoke?
quick little video on differences for 27 2035s, 1927s, because they're kind of a breed of their own. They got a lot of little differences from the long fenders, of course, the prior years, 26 and before, and they're also quite little differences from 28 and after 2035s. Uh, talking with a friend I know who's working on a 29 that best we know at this point it has a 27 engine in it or at least a lot of 27 parts and he's trying to figure out what's what and he's kind of learning yet what all these little intricacies of these tractors so I figured it'd be easier to throw together a little video kind of showing at least some of the basics you know a guy could spend days talking about this stuff but start with some of the so this is a uh, 27 and, and all original 27 stuff on it. So I'll point out some of the things that are different. Uh, this top transmission cover is like a hand fabbed cover and they did that in 27. Uh, so that's a 27 thing. The throttle quadrant is a 27 thing where this is actually a tie over. It's the same quadrant it's used on the earlier long fenders. Um, so they use that. It's got this different cast lever on this one side and uh, the lever with the little flipper on the other for your throttle and your mag controls. And the little brass tags actually say that, what they do. Um, on 27s, the serial number tag is on a brass tag on the firewall where and that's the same with the long fenders they are also on a brass tag on the firewall and then after that 28 and after they stamped them on top of the transmission here by the shift lever um, so that's some differences there there's some differences in the toolbox just minor cosmetic stuff there the fenders are different on a 27 they have this single rib and the rest of it is flat the ribs aren't always the same. <laughs> like this is also a 27 and the ribs are significantly higher. So there was definitely changes in you know, manufacturing or whoever was rolling the, the beads that particular day was doing a better job that day than they were on that day. You can see how much shallower they are on this tractor. Uh, this is an earlier 27 where this is a considerably later 27. There should be green of course this one has been repainted orange at some point in its life but um, they, they shouldn't be orange where this is a fender for a 28 or after 28 29 um, they got the two flat ribs so that's another difference it's an easy way to spot the 27 assuming it has the correct parts on it is to look at the fenders um, the radiator bottom tank is different the spout comes out straight on a 27 because on a 27 it has this lower cast elbow similar to but not exactly the same as a long fender uh, and the water pump elbow points straight down where on a oh, which one can i show you on here on a later tractor Like this one, it would be a 28 or after lower tank. It angles up towards the water pump and the, the bottom of the water elbow on the water pump also angles down. So instead of an elbow, they connect with just a piece of straight hose. So that's another difference. The uh, heads on a 27 are very specific. They were different that one year where they have these primer ports for each cylinder. They would have these little primer cups on here. Um, and those were only, the only year they used these particular heads was on 27. So they're a little hard to find. Um, they are different than long fender heads because they have a single valve cover instead of two separate valve covers. So they are not the same as long fender heads. They're 
27 only. Um, what else is different? The, the fill neck on a 27 is different than 28 and after. Um, there, that's a tie over as well. It's the same kind of a neck that's on long fender gas tanks. Different tank, but the same type of uh, fill neck. See, there's the serial number tag on a long fender. Same kind of tag on the firewall. Um, this would be the type of a fill neck on a 20. Well, then it gets complicated too because there's a couple of different type of fill necks after 27 as well. There's two different styles. Uh, this is, well, broken one, but this is one of the styles because there's at least two versions of them as well. And then those um, same kind of fill necks would be the same as what's on the transmission cover of the uh, 28 and after, which I can't show you that here. That's at a different location. So, um, but the, like I said, the, the hand formed cover there versus, well, these are long fender ones, but a, a short fender one is kind of similar to this. It's a stamped housing. Um, what else is different on a 27 at least the early 27s had this wheeler shebler carburetor um, it's different than what's on a long fender but most short fenders you see had the kingston carb on them which i don't think any of these tractors have one on to show you Oh yeah, that one does over there. So this is a Kingston carb on this one over here. So this is what you typically see on short fender tractors. Um, just about every one of them has one of these. Pretty pretty common one for analysis. Um, The other uh, again on the very very early 27s have this what I call upside down oil filter canister. Um, it's a different mounting bracket. It goes up to the manifold and down the bottom of it mounts to your uh, stud on your uh, lifter cover. Where typically ones you see is the opposite. The can is the other way around with the dome up. Uh, do I have one of them to show you? Look around here what I got. Yeah, okay, so this is what you typically find on the short fenders as well. They just about all have this, where the dome is up and it mounts from there going down to the mid pan. Uh, so that's another difference. Um, even, you know, this is a 27, so even the later 27s had this. That would just be a strictly early 27 thing there. And as far as I've been able to research, the only reason for that, it's the same Purolator, excuse me, type B canister. Purolator must have just changed their design. Instead of making it this way, they flipped it around and they, they just changed their design. Same thing, same number or whatever, it's just a different, different thing. Um, what, on a 27, would have a different exhaust manifold. This is not actually a correct true 27 exhaust manifold on this tractor. I don't have one, but it would have two ears on the top outlet of the manifold, very similar to the exhaust, or the, excuse me, the uh, air intake here pipe, where you would clamp onto your exhaust pipe. Well, it was a dumb design because they all broke when things expanding and contracting or you over tightened it and you broke those ears off and then your exhaust pipe would be loose. So they, uh, they got away from that design and they just did a normal straight chunk of pipe on the top where the pipe actually slipped over the exhaust manifold. And that's what I have on this tractor because I haven't been able to locate a, a original 27 manifold yet. I'd like to put one on here, but I haven't had one. don't have one. 
Um, the shrouds are a little bit different. On 27, they have this rear flange. Uh, they have acorn nuts, but everything I know points, they never did actually have a uh, screen on the back side of the shroud where the long fenders did have a screen. It's a different shroud again, but there again, I think it was just a tie over from how they were constructing them. They just, you know, they kept doing things the same way and then they realized, well, well there's no need for that. Let's eliminate that. Because uh, then the later ones, even this later 27 one, they switched to a, just a rolled edge on the back of that, just to simplify things. Um, so at some point, I'm thinking in some point in 27, they actually changed that. I don't know exactly when. Um, the engine themselves are different. Um, you can roughly date an engine based on their suffix casting number on the block casting number on the side here. The dash, whatever it is. On this one, it's a dash 16. Um, and you can roughly tell what year they are based on that. It's not an exact science, but you can kind of date them on that. And this would be the engine serial number. In theory, you can date them on by that as well. But to my knowledge, nobody's really put together a really extensive, uh, like a Excel sheet on correlating the years with the serial numbers like they have for like the WCs and whatever. They have, you know, kind of put together a master list of them. Um, it's on my list of things to do someday is to actually work on that, but haven't gotten around to it. But yeah, this is all this number is here is your engine serial number. It's not your tractor serial number. That's the one on the firewall. But uh, like I was saying, you can roughly base the years based on this number. So if it's like a 15 or a 16, it's about a 27. Um, because the engine in this long fender is actually a... Uh, 27 engine as well. A lot of my tractors are actually hybrid tractors, I call them, or combination of parts. Somebody, like this one, somebody had a, a long fender, the engine most likely went bad, so they found a 27, they threw the engine in it, and they kept farming. Uh, so this is a Dash 15, if you can see that in the sun as well. Uh, where that one, my 27 has a Dash 16, and this one, the actual serial number is a 3200 number, or 32,000 number, excuse me. So this one's actually a little bit uh, older engine. But they they swapped parts though, because this doesn't have 27 heads on it either. This is 28 or after heads. Uh, so they just, you know, you can, you can mix and match some things. You can't mix and match everything. Uh, like one thing you can't mix and match that uh, Jesse was talking about and asking me about, he realized, somebody pointed out to him, I think it was actually Phil, pointed out to him that he had the, uh, the early oil tube on the side. So that suggested that he had an early engine. Where the 28s and after, this oil system is different. On the 27, your oil pump is in your pan and it's driven off of a gear on the front of your crankshaft which powers a idler gear in your mid pan which drives your oil pump which is in your oil pan we're on a 28 and after that's completely different there's no idler i don't think there's an idler in the mid pan um, and the oil line and everything is different so basically you got to keep all those parts together on a tractor you can't say put a 27 engine with a 28 pan and stuff you can't you got to keep all 27 parts together or all 28 parts together uh, to my knowledge you can't you can't mix and match any of that well, i suppose anything can be done with enough ingenuity but it's easiest to keep all that together um what else is different We're, i think that's most of the major differences along the way i mean there's lots of little differences like how they did these bushings and stuff uh, where they eliminated bushings later on and um 
there's lots of little things, but th those are some of the major differences that I think will help a guy out um, with these things. So yeah, maybe if there's enough interest in this and whatever and more questions, I'll do another one of these kind of compare and contrast uh, videos. But I think that kind of, it's a good good start to some of these differences. So yeah, I'll probably see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Okay, one more final thought. The firewall are actually slightly different too because of the different throttle quadrant, the holes in the firewall are different to accommodate that as well. So that's something else a guy can look for. Like say you're missing your quadrant, based on the holes you could tell what it had. And this one has the linkage holes for the tickler valve on the carburetor, where I believe the later ones, you can see this 27 is the same. And these are all, yeah, these ones have been so cobbled up that I don't even want to show you to compare, but the holes are, this started out life as a short fender um, firewall. It's been hacked up and whatever, but see all the holes are different underneath there because the throttle quadrant is different. So this would be more of the quadrant that Jesse or you should probably have. It just has the single control because you'd probably have a mag that has no advance and retard features on it, the automatic controls. So all you need is the throttle control on the side there. So yeah, a few little more differences there. Let's see if it popped off a little better this time around. Oh, it's been running. Maybe it does need a little bit of choke. Maybe. Yeah. I hate, I hate, to choke. I hate, hate to flood it, yeah. Yeah, give it a half a choke. Or something, or one crank on full choke, maybe. You did turn the gas back on, right? Yep. Give it some more choke. I'm gonna crank it. Here. I'm out of cranks. <laughs> Supposed to start better than that. Supposed to. Usually not does. Gas, are we? Hope not. A little more chill. Video this. Yeah. That's why they invented electric starters. <laughs> well, huh. 
Sure you got gas? <laughs> Can't believe that we would have burned up four gallons of gas already, but there's gas in there. We got her flooded again. Probably. Gotta run this more. Yeah. Get used to it. Get used to it.